Hi, I'm Dave Lindahl, founder of RE Mentor, and I'd like to welcome you to our office building and also to our YouTube channel. In this YouTube channel is a series of videos that's going to take you step by step on how to invest in multifamily properties so you can reach your goal of financial freedom but also leave legacy wealth to your children and your children's children. So I'd like to give you a little example of what I'm talking about. So for also in this video, I'm going to take you step by step on how to uh, buy a complete multi-unit property starting as a beginner. But as an example, here's Toby Fisher. He bought his first property, a 95 unit property, after coming to one of our syndication events. And he states inside of here that he did this deal with no money out of his pocket. So it doesn't matter if you have experience or money, we could get you started investing in this business. Our walls here at RE Mentor are lined with students that have started out in the same situation that you might be in and have gone on to reach their goals of buying multi multifamily properties. For instance, here's another one. Here's Marilyn and Richard Mears. After attending one of our events, they went out and bought a 54 unit property in Memphis, Tennessee. Why Memphis? Well, one of the things we teach is all about emerging markets. Which markets are giving you the fastest amount of appreciation in the fastest amount of time? So they studied, they learned about Memphis, and at the time that they bought, they realized that Memphis was an emerging market. They bought 54 units, it was valued at $1.4 million. Through our negotiating techniques, they got it for $1.3 million, which right at the start is a $300,000 um, bonus to them, uh, $300,000 in equity, and the very next month, they get cash flow month after month after month. So as I take you through our office, you're gonna see that in the last, we've been teaching now for the last 17 years. And we've been teaching this system and we've lasted for 17 plus years because the system works. It's the system that was created by myself and our coaching system. So not only do you get the information that I know from investing in all the deals that I've done over the last 23 years, but we've also taken all the information from those that have learned from us and become, have become successful with us and went on to become coaches for us. And now we conglomerate and share all the information so we have all of the best practices that you'll need to be successful in multifamily properties. Now, some of our students have reached our Hall of Fame. There are different criteria for reaching the Hall of Fame. Some people have done a lot of deals in one year, like Maureen Miles, for instance, who bought three deals in Atlanta, got over $600,000 in acquisition fees, uh, and over $8 million in equity. That qualified her for the Hall of Fame. We also have uh, Brian Lucier from Massachusetts, who, after he was successful in smaller units, three to six unit properties, buying over 18 of them, he put a $3 million addition onto his church and also bought a playground. So it's, it's, it's getting, but it's also giving back. That's important to us here at RE Mentor. So as, again, as I take you through the office, you'll notice that the office is literally lined with uh, student testimonials. People, we don't solicit them. People send in pictures. They're so excited. They send in pictures of themselves, pictures of their families, pictures of checks that they get. And we, they were filling a, a filing cabinet. And I thought, well, why don't we just put them on the walls? Because that's what we're really here for. Downstairs, I didn't point it out, but we have our core values there. Our number one core value is that we're not successful until our students are successful. This is a 12,000 square foot office space, and it's manned with, only, with over 40 people who are here to help support you in your success. So inside of this conference room, and I encourage you to come visit us here in this conference room, we're, we're at 100 Weymouth Street in Rockland, Massachusetts. Come here, we'll give you a tour of the building. Um, if you give us enough notice, we'll actually have lunch with you right here in this room. Uh, and on top of this conference table are some of the systems that we've created to help you get started. For instance, the Apartment House Riches Home Study System and Live Event. This is really the starting point for most investors because this will take you step by step through the process of what it takes to get your deals done. From there, you're gonna to wanna to fund those deals. So we have the private money home study system and uh, live event. And that shows you how to go out and get private money to, put your, to fund into your deals so you don't have to take any money out of your own pocket. 
We're going to teach you how to do big deals. We're going to teach you how to get started with small deals. We're going to get, teach you how to get started with big or small deals, depending on what you're comfortable with. Most people are comfortable starting small, but they get big fast. So when you get big, you actually need to qualify for the banks for these bigger deals. And if you can't do it yourself, then you'll get what's called a sponsor. We have an entire event on sponsorship and what it takes to get a sponsor. And the people that teach it are actually sponsors themselves. They're students that came through our system, started with nothing, learned how to do the process, and now are very wealthy and sponsor other students' deals. It's, it's, it's like a cycle it's, uh, that's been created here. It's really good. After you buy the property, you're going to have to operate that property and asset management. We've got a whole system on that. You may take the next step and go to commercial properties and buy storage facilities, office buildings, retail space. Um, we also have uh, an immersion trading that takes you out to properties uh, and it shows you how to do the numbers on that property and actually visits the properties themselves. So you're, you're, not, you're in classroom one day and then you're out there touching and feeling the property that you're actually analyzing and you're understanding you know, what a good property looks like and what are some of the, um, the downfalls of a property. You know, what, some, what are some of the problems that you will be f you seeing in the future for properties? And that can only come from people that are experienced. Um, and that's what we do. We have experienced instructors that are teaching all of these systems. So let's get back to what I was talking about. If you're a complete beginner, or if you want to get to that next level, how are you going to start from nothing to get to a closing? And you're going to do that by, there's three things that you've got to do. You've got to be finding the deals, you've got to be analyzing the deals, and you've got to know how to fund the deals. So when you're finding the deals, there's a lot of different ways you can do it. We like to say you cast a big net and you let the deals trickle in. But two of the most common ways are direct mail. We'll show you where to get a list for people that are motivated to sell their properties. All right, and we'll give you the actual letters to mail them that give higher than average responses uh, to those direct mail pieces. So you'll be negotiating with distressed sellers who are looking to sell, and typically you'll get these deals at a discount. Regardless of whether it's a discount or not, there's always a certain ratio that you need to follow uh, in order to determine if you have the right cash flow in the deal. Multifamily property is all about cash flow because cash flow determines the value of the property. And we'll get to that next when we talk about analyzing. But let's also talk about brokers. Real estate brokers are some of the fastest ways to get deals to you. And it's all about creating relationships with the real estate brokers. We teach what's called commonality. It's meeting a broker, talking about business first, but then finding out what you actually have in common with them. You know, um, what you sincerely have in common with them. Uh, could it be fishing? Could it be cooking? Could it be gardening? Could it be race cars? Who knows? But whatever it is, that's what you start talking about mostly. And when you, the next time you talk with that broker, you talk about what you both like together, not business. You get to the business after. When you keep doing this, you become friends. Friends like to do business with friends, and you'll get a deal very, very quickly. Now, the average uh, type, the, the average time it takes for a a student to get a deal with a new broker is four months. But if you use the commonality technique, you can cut that in half to just two months. So brokers will, brokers have what's called pocket listings. They control the market. So therefore, when you get brokers giving you pocket listings, which means nobody else has seen these deals, that's when you know that you've hit the sweet spot. So then we get to analyzing. It, some people are concerned about, oh my gosh, I, I'm not good at numbers. I don't know how to analyze a deal. If you can follow a very simple formula, by taking the yearly income of a property and you subtract the yearly expenses of the property, that's going to give you what's called the NOI or net operating income of a property. You take that and you multiply it by 10 and that gives you the value of the property. So let's say that you've done this calculation and the value comes out at 800000 Well, if the seller is asking for 900 or a million, you know the property's overvalued. If the seller is asking for 750, 700,000, well, you know the property might be undervalued. When I say might, okay, there's other factors that are involved, but this is the first hoop. And if you can do this simple formula, then you can analyze a deal. From there, you negotiate the deal, you get it under contract, and now it's time to fund a deal. You're going to use lenders, and you're going to use private money investors. Most people use a combination of the two. They get, they get their what's called the senior debt from a lender, a banker, or an institution. They'll do 80%, and then they'll have private money investors do the other 20% plus the closing cost. What does that mean? 
That means that if you have no money, you've got the entire deal funded. And that's what we'll teach you how to do. Uh, and this is done over and over again. You know, the majority of our students come to us uh, just starting out. And, and a lot of times they have no money in their pocket. But we also have students that have a lot of experience flipping single family properties or students that have small multifamily properties. And they just want to learn how to either take the next step or learn how to do it right. And then we have other students that come in and they already own four, five, six hundred unit properties, sometimes over a thousand units, uh, and they want to learn how to scale it up to five thousand and ten thousand units. But wherever you are, we can take you to the next level through this process. So uh, some people fund deals completely with private money. Some people, uh, there's not a lot of lenders out there that do 100%, but it's usually a combination. So then, after you've got it funded, you own the property. So what happens next? Well, you cash what's called an acquisition check or an acquisition fee because we train all of our students that whenever you bring private money investors into a deal that they're going to give you anywhere from 3 to 5% of the purchase price as an acquisition fee. It's actually industry standard in our business that you get an acquisition fee. So you're going to cash that check at the closing. So if you do a million dollar deal with a 3% acquisition fee, that means you're going to get a $30,000 check at the closing. That's a beautiful thing. Who needs wholesaling, you know? Because if you wholesale a deal and it's gone, okay? You close on a multifamily property, you get that $30,000 check at the closing, that goes into your bank account, and the very next month, you get a check, the average 100 unit deal. Okay, depending on how you structure it, but the average 100 unit deal has a monthly cash flow of $10,000 a month. So that's month after month after month. So therefore, you, you get the $30,000 at the closing, and then you get $10,000 the next month, and then the next month, and then the next month, and then somewhere down the line, after you go, if you go into an emerging market, and typically we'll teach you that in an emerging market, you're gonna stay there for anywhere from three to five years to let the, the market appreciate so that your property appreciates, then you're gonna close out on that property and you're gonna get another big check. And that, if it's a million dollar deal, the average appreciation on a three to a five year hold is 40%. So you take the million, you multiply it by, by 0.4, that's a $400,000 check at closing. You total that up and you're looking at $450,000 on a multifamily deal. That's not every deal. You know, that, that is, is, that's, it all depends, of course, how it structures. But if you structure it properly and you're buying the right deal in the right market, this is easily attainable um, uh, throughout using the system. So there you have it. If you like this video, simply subscribe below. Uh, hit the like button. We'd appreciate that. Uh, and then I've got another video coming up and you're really going to like that one.